Hello and welcome, Paulie here, and I am playing Bannerlord. Now we are in Ustok Ustokol Castle. And Mantius is laying siege. I've got 45% health. Most of my troops are gone or wounded. There's a couple of ways I could play this. I guess I can... Okay, so I could request the parlay in the hopes that he will turn around and leave. I could also just attempt to defend him, de defend him off with the troops I have. Or hope that my allies can get here in time because they're still a ways away. In fact, here we go, four days. Four days away is too long shield made and she could come back so i guess i'm going to request a parlay on the off chance i can convince him to stop this siege but he might go after the other one what is going on they're in the void let's see if i can convince him to join us first of all critical success All right. Bollocks, ineffective. Do I get one more chance? I do. Honor, honor angle again. What? Oh wait, honor, if it's red, it means he's no good, isn't it? Okay, well. I have a proposal. What would it take for you to lift the siege? What are you offering? He wants all of my money to lift this siege. He wants... I've bloody hate... It's not even close to making this work. That's the messed up part. Release the siege. Just do it, mate. Just do it. Offer. Give him... Give him... 65k. He won't take it. Okay. Well, I guess I'm stuck waiting then. Like, I don't understand the barter offer. I guess it's sometimes they just never want to accept an offer. Because he wanted, like, all of my gold, all of my money, you know. So, okay, we're going to wait here. We're going to defend. We're going to get... Oh, perfect. It worked. It worked. Let me just wait in the castle again. We could probably keep him busy. He'll go back and forth between us and them and he's trapped. Oh, this is perfect. Oh, it's not perfect if I keep pressing stuff. So if we keep him busy here long enough, because he's going back and forth, wanting well, to go for my troops. Where's he going? He's going to go besiege the city now, isn't he? Okay, that's not good. Okay, well, here's what we need to do. We need him to come come up here, besiege it, so I can get out of this siege quick and get back to the other one, because he'll go back there and, you know... No, he's just going to leave, because he knows he can't do it. Oh my god, we have dodged some major bullets here. Yeah, it cost me a few troops, but when you look at the amount of troops I lost breaking in to stop the siege, we would have lost way more if the fight actually went ahead. Traveling to Varchek. Okay. Okay, I'm going to raise this army. It's going to come here. And then we will... Why don't we take Varchek? Why don't we just take all of these and just push down here and just connect it all up? I don't know what my allies are doing, but... I need to make sure this place stays safe. Buried at the back of all of our territories. I don't want to buy out all their food because I don't want to leave this place in a state of decay. Uh, 
Don't engage his party, mate. We need to stay away from him. It sucks because this is a mountain path, you know. No good way of getting around. Be very careful here. We might be able to get out. See, I, need, I want to stay behind him. I don't want him to go back the way we just came. You know what I mean? Goes back the way we just came and then he like... They're splitting. They're splintering. Oh. Are you kidding me? We made peace after all that. All that mucking around, we made peace. Just as my allies were about to arrive. This game, man, some of the NPCs are so lucky. So, so lucky. Let's take a look. What did we accomplish, if anything? We went down to Epi Crochia. Did we get it? No. Don't know what happened there. Remtoil is still in control. The enemy still controls Remtoil. So basically, I think the only thing we accomplished was me taking or preventing losses of more castles, but also the taking of... I don't even know which castle I took. I think it was Drunnymore. Yeah, Drunnymore. I helped. So... Okay. Oh, God. Southern Empire, Sarai, Sturgia. I guess I'm back on the hunt now, aren't I? I say that as I'm pretty banged up. I'm going to disband this army. Let people go their separate ways. I need to recruit. I need to build up. I guess I head back. Although I could stay around here and try to hunt down the remnants of Sturgia, but if I get caught out, I'm going to be in a bit of trouble. I'm be in a bit of trouble. Oh, there's one. Let's leave the, let's leave them. There's an enemy over here that I want to get. I don't know which clan Vidar's from, but he's looking old though. This is a big clan. In fact, is this the, cl the last clan belonging to Sturgia? No, there's two of them. Nope, that's con that's a mercenary. So yeah, this big, big clan, I'm going to have to wipe out. How old is this guy? Eighty one. We're all getting old, you know what I mean? We're all getting old. Okay, Arlek, let's go. Sergeants, on my command. Actually, no, follow me follow because we don't have that many people. That was a good hit. Low health left on him. Down he goes. All Sturgia troops use round shields now, which looks pretty sick. Oh my god, the amount of arrows he was tanking.
Perfect. Perfect. Okay, how much room do I have for prisoners? 43, 13 slots. So... I'll happily take some Sturgeons or Soldiers if they want to fight with me. I got, like, I got a lot of rebuilding to do. Oh. So. Where is that fellow? There he is. I guess I could stay in this area and just hunt them down. They seem to be around here. I think it's Omar they kind of hang around. Oh, Mimir. Got him. Only 16 of them. I feel like I should just send my troops to attack, but if I actually go and do it, I feel there's a better chance of me taking him prisoner. Where's Mimir though? Maybe they're already too wounded. Perfect. Very nice. Oh, Mimir. Like I said, this is a big clan we got to get through, but I think they're all in this area, so... I wonder what sea raiders turn into. Oh. I want to fight these guys because I'm going to recruit them. I'm curious what Sea Raiders turn into. I'm assuming they turn into the, the elites of... Uh, if it's anything like the Forest Bandits, they turn into the elites of Sturgia. Since Sturgia got a buff... I like to imagine they're much better now. This is a cool environment. As well just wait. If I wait in there, I'm more likely to get myself killed. I'm getting like fatal kills on everyone I attack, like I just want to knock them out. Go get them. Oh, there are people fleeing. Holy crap, I hit them. Okay. Good, good, good. Oh, look at these prisoners. Perfect. Saplings. 
You know what? We'll take him. I need to rebuild my army. <laughs> yes, I'm over the prisoner limits, I know. Let me take a look at what these sea raiders turn into. I've looked in the past, I just don't remember. A lot of new troop trees to remember in this game now. Sea raiders can go two ways. Sturgeon, like horsemen, have 260 pole arm. Okay. Or. So these guys, the shock troop and the veteran warrior, are the ones I can get normally. This guy's kind of weak. I'm assuming it's these two. What's the difference? Well, they're both the same. They're both identical. I guess it's the fact that they can go... I don't know, that's weird. That's a weird upgrade route. Oh, I see. So yeah, basically, those guys can actually go beyond. Good to know. Let's see if we can make a few. I need to make some room. How much space? I gotta get rid of seven people. Let's get rid of the Vlandians, to be honest. Don't need the sharpshooter. Don't need him. Kinda wanna keep the horseman. There we go. Okay. What I'm thinking is that since their clan is so big, I am very, very likely to run into more enemies. More Sturgeons. Even though there's Ira from the Southern Empire I could take out pretty easily right now. It just feels better to continue on the path I'm on. Now I'm over my prisoner limit again because we took people were wounded. Hopefully I can recruit. Look at more Batanian Fians, which is nice. Why have I got looters in my party? What's that about? Get out of here. Okay, so while I'm here, let's have a quick look. Sturgia, with a lot of people we gotta get, but what about Southern Empire? Where has she been? She, she is... She is... On that side, okay, yeah, to the south. To the south, maybe we just go back and take care of her. She's literally the last one. I want to get rid of her. Be done with it. I probably should check how old is Arlek now because he is getting old. 58. He's almost 60. <laughs> oh, it now says if someone's been executed. Perfect. Perfect. They finally added it. Thank you. I like that. Nice addition. Now, I hope to God that Arlet can get married at some point. <laughs> Plant his seed. Before it's too late. And he dies alone. <laughs> and the campaign ends and Britannia gets crushed. I feel like that's going to happen. Oh, look at all these looters. Experience galore here. And the problem is, is every time they wound my people or kill them, I then have to 
get rid of some prisoners because I keep hitting the limits. Oh, we're okay there. That's something at least. The rote. Sell what we can. Why doesn't the trade have enough money? They have 36,000, okay. Well, how about this? Give me the horses. Give me a ton of food. You don't have a ton of food, oh. just do it this way did I say get rid of my grain I didn't mean to do that I feel like this is messed up somewhere you know what I mean so I'm constantly checking me all your fish here we go okay he doesn't have enough money what do I have a big ticket harpoon no oh okay Okay. There we go. Now he can afford it. I'll, so the harpoon was worth so much money. That's a tier 6 weapon. Should I just break down the harpoon? Because the harpoon can basically pay. Okay, here's the thing. I do want to level up my smithing. Oh my god, that's a big ticket item right there. But if I want to do any smithing, I'm going to need charcoal, so I need to... Need some hardwood. Hopefully, yes, some. Hardwood, yes. Six pieces will do, thank you. I probably lost hundreds and thousands of money just like doing these trades without paying too much attention. But yeah, the, the harpoons, the throwing weapons are worth so much. It's ridiculous. Okay, let's break this down. Three points in smithing. Oh, beautiful. That was easy. And harpoons are cheap. Harpoons are bloody cheap. Because I was buying the weapons that were like a hundred and... Like almost 200k. But if the harpoon is giving me the same freaking... XP... Oh no, this is how much they're worth. It's just that I happen to have one on me. Okay. Good to know. Good to know. More big groupings of looters in the area will take out to get the experience and I'll just keep making my way over towards see if we can uh, capture Ira, take out the Southern Empire. Probably turn my attention back to Sturgia because that whole area is going to have like a bunch of people I'll probably be able to get my hands on. Anyway, that's all for now. Thank you for watching. Join me again next time. Until then.